Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Smackdown. Ups and downs. I got it right, right? Probably at the time I upload this, Crown Jewel will be over. Actually, it is already over. Let's start. This week's Smackdown started with Liv Morgan and Sonya Deville. No disqualification match. The whole match was good. We received power bomb on chairs. Liv was able to do her finisher on Sonya Deville on chairs. Good match in general. Up. And we're building Liv backup which is good but still Liv is not quite believable for me after that we had an interview with emma following her last week match with ronda rousey it's weird that zaya lee interfered and basically that will lead up to both of them having a match next week i'm not sure how i feel about this but the segment was too small so i'm not gonna rate that after that we had another viking raiders report package video package up ricochet versus la knight it's fun to see someone doing a promo when he's going to the ring in that case la knight was uh cutting a promo when he was going to the ring and he was basically saying that the ring announcer got his town name wrong last week but uh, ricochet started to beat him up while he was uh, just running his mouth and uh, the interesting part was to see LA Knight's promo skills plus Ricochet in-ring work. Both of them are able to do magic together. So just let them have a good rivalry. We are building good LA Knight here because he pinned Ricochet not fair and square, but he was using the ropes while the referee was not looking. So good stuff up. Bray Wyatt was talking about how hard is to share his feelings in front of other people and how hard it is to share his feelings while other people are interrupting him and weirdly enough staff interrupted him after that he talked with the staff with the guy who interrupted him and he was basically screaming at him and he was saying that he's super angry when someone is trying to cut him in the traffic jam and he is try trying to imagine how he's uh, beating that guy up and basically that's what he's feeling towards that staff member when he tried to cut him off when he's trying to share his feelings it was actually a good promo and I think this is the highlight of the show this week. But I still don't understand why Bray at Wyatt is showing up at Crown Jewel. What is the purpose behind that? But up. Sami Zayn and the Bloodline, up. Uh, we are starting at the backstage. And Sami Zayn was saying that after the next Usos match, they're going to be able to break the record for longest reigning tag team champions. But for some reason, Jay wanted to go uh, out and... I don't know what he wanted to do, probably brag about something, but Sami said, it's not a good idea, guys, uh, but Jay actually didn't listen, the Usos went out, they bragged that they're going to be the longest reigning champs, the New Day came out, and they were like, whatever you do on Crown Jewel with Brawling Brutes, we are next in line, just to prove that you are not going to break our record, because the New Day are the current record holders for the longest reigning tag team champs. So basically, we're going to have the new New Day versus Blo Usos right when they come from Crown Jewel, which basically says that the Brawling Brutes are not going to win. But after that, Brawling Brutes attacked Usos from behind. The New Day attacked also Usos from behind. Sami and Solo came out. They were able to help the Usos. At the end, Usos came out victorious from that little chaos thingy but i'm really sad that the brutes are gonna lose and yeah they're probably gonna lose for sure there Shayna baszler versus natalia up i was really happy that Shayna baszler this week came out with ronda rousey that is giving her real legitimacy and actually it was kind of a squash match like Shayna baszler decimated natalia and after the match finished and natalia tapped out from Shayna baszler Shayna Baszler kicked her in the nose and I, I, she didn't actually break her nose, but there was some blood and stuff, but it is a good direction for Shayna and Ronda and I love their heel run and I'm sure that they're going to deliver some amazing stuff. 
MVP was in the ring and he was trying to scare Braun Strowman when he was saying that Braun is gonna face five random guys. And do you remember a few weeks when Omos was facing four random guys and I said that this is nonsense? Actually, now it makes sense when Braun faced five random guys. It's still nonsense, but uh, yeah, it basically showed up that Braun is kind of stronger. After Braun dealed with five, these five random guys, he went after MVP and he power slammed him three times. Good stuff. Up. Like I don't for Tazba promo. Up. But it's a, one of these questionable ups because I, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Santos Escobar was talking how Shinsuke Nakamura made the false decision about joining Hit Row and he's gonna beat him up next week. They're, next week they're having a match. Something didn't click. And I don't know why, I don't know how to click. I'm sure that Santos Escobar can cut better promos because uh, I was watching him in NXT. But yeah, questionable up. Rey Mysterio versus Gunther, down. That's the main event of the show and it receives down. I can explain. Rey Mysterio and Gunther was type of match that is David and Goliath type of match. Small guy versus big guy. And Gunther was really dominant that match. And Rey Mysterio had some momentum going on at some point. And he was able even to hit his finishing move. He was choking Gunther at some point. But here's the deal. The match finished with Gunther doing clothesline and pin Rey Mysterio. This is why it's down. Because Mysterio lost just from a clothesline. And the commentary said, me there, clothesline. It's clothesline, bro. It's not even a proper finishing move. Rey Mysterio is a legend, and I think he deserved something like proper finishing move, proper finisher. I understand that Rey Mysterio is a legend, and he has like 20 plus experience in the company, and he doesn't need that championship actually and i appreciate that we're building gunter but he deserves better finish than that now it's time for the overall score for smackdown this week i have thought about this i have a tv behind me it's an up okay thank you guys so much for watching now i'm going to watch crown jewel because i already missed it but i have some stuff to do and i'm pretty sure that i'm not gonna be I'm not, I'm not sure what I want to say, but I'm excited to see Crown Jewel and I'm excited to share with you what I think about Crown Jewel after that Monday Night Raw and see you soon. Yes.